Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got a collaboration with NAQ57. We are using this collage that she made for our inspiration. I've started off with Nail Teaks Formula 2 and I'll be using China Glaze's 108 Degrees, one of my favorites, and also China Glaze's Angel Breath, and then finally a China Glaze Something Sweet. Now I'm going to apply some of these polishes, like this one is something sweet, I'm going to put it on my pointer finger, and I've already applied 108 degrees on my thumb, but on the other nails I'm going to use Angel's Breath, because we're going to do a little mix up today on this Manny, I'm being sure to cap my tip, and here we go with Angel's Breath, now this one is just beautiful, it's such a light, delicate, almost white pink and it's got like a curly formula so it does kind of stay a little um, see-through after two coats but I'm okay with that for today's look you know sometimes I'm not so much in the mood but today I'm in the mood for it so we'll we'll deal with it today before I forget I will leave a link for Miss Nora's channel down below please go watch her video and see what she did for our collaboration I'm sure she's going to rock it because she does everything. <laughs> Hi, Woody. How you doing? There's our fella. And here we go with our first coat on the pinky nail. This might be a really good polish to use for a French tip design. I might have to give that a try sometime. And here we go. We're going to go back in with some more polish and add our second coats to everything. And I love these China Glaze polishes. I've been trying to work on my untrieds and, you know, wear things I haven't worn before. But all of these are much love in my collection. Woody again. Sometimes it's good to shop your stash, as Jody from Jody's Polish would say. You know, shop your own stash. And if I ever use anything that you don't particularly have, just use something similar. You don't have to run out and buy, you know, the new and the great whatever is out there just because I used it and you don't have to go hunting down some of these dusty old polishes because I'm sure if they've been you know retired or whatever whoever's selling them on eBay is asking way too much for them just find something in your collection that is close enough or doable or change it up completely and use use totally different colors and polishes you know um you don't have to recreate exactly. Um, I feel like all of these channels, all of my friends that have channels, I don't think we're out there encouraging people to, you know, buy things just because we use them. We just want to show what's out there, whether it's an old show or a new show. <laughs> so there we go. We've got all of our polishes done and top coat is on and dry. Now I'm going to do a swishy, swishy, <laughs> smushy on a couple of my nails. Y'all, I just, I swear I haven't been drinking today, <laughs> unless coffee and tea count. I'm just going to do a little smushy here on my little mat, and I'm not going to do a lot of smushing and twisting. I'm just going to push down to get the effect I'm going for today. Just a nice push down. And I don't know if you noticed, but I'm wearing tape on my nails today instead of liquid latex. I'm not out of liquid latex. I just didn't feel like messing with it. <laughs> Isn't that lazy? So we're going to do another round of drops, just a couple of them, not, not a full-blown, you know, pile of them like the last time. I just want to kind of fill in some spots and get it to look the way I like. And here we go with our cleanup, with our cleanup brush. And even using the tape, I didn't have too, too much of a mess to clean up. But that's the way we did it in the old days. We didn't have latex. We used masking tape. <laughs> so now I'm going to top this one with some posh top coat because I'm going to do some stamping over those beautiful smushy accent nails. I love it just like that. I just was really like, oh, that's so pretty. And look at that 108 degrees. Is that not fantastic? Beautiful polish. It's a hot pink with a sparkle in it. So if you have a hot pink with a sparkle already in your collection, that's the kind of polish you'd want to use for this design. And I'm going in, and on all the nails that aren't smushied, I'm just using all the all the colors 
that I didn't use on that nail. Like on this one, it's something sweet, so I'm using Angel's Breath and the gold polish that I'm going to be stamping with, and then that hot pink 108 degrees. And I'm just doing two little dots up near the cuticle line. And then I'm doing that same thing over the one that's the Angel's Breath, and I'm using something sweet, 108 degrees, and bold gold. And I'm just kind of running my dotting tool kind of swirly twirly in it trying to mix those colors up a little bit I just thought this would be fun to do instead of um, you know using studs or anything I thought you know let's just use the polishes that we've already got out and I do get carried away right here and my dots almost touch so I'll be stamping with bold gold from Maybelline and using my clear stamper and my clear jelly scraper and Beauty Big Bang 09 plate. And I was actually supposed to use two images off of this plate, but I messed up and only used the one. You know, some of that human stuff showing through again, making mistakes. I really do like pink and gold together. I just think they look so pretty. Of course, pink does look good with silver too, but I was just in the mood for some pink and gold. I just, I don't know. After all those winter manicures, I, I just wanted something totally different. So there we go, all stamped up. And I'm gonna go in and remove some of the excess with tape like I always do. And you can see how great this is picking up with that tape. Look at that. Amazing. Love it, love it. Totally, totally love that. And I am going to go in with my cleanup brush as usual and do a little bit more tidying up. Because that's how we do it. <laughs> and I'm going to apply this posh top coat over it and seal this design in. And I really did love this manicure. I was really, really pleased with it. And I hope you liked it too. Don't forget to head over to Nora's channel and check out what she did. There's my swatch photo. Leave me a comment. Thanks for watching. And until next time, be good to yourself. Talk to you soon. Bye.